Let's have a look at Tivasi series launchpad evaluation kit. This launchpad is great for general purpose applications due to its 32 bit ARM Cortex M4, 80 MHz CPU, and analog digital integration. Let's see what this launchpad offers. We have two user switches user switch one, user switch two and a user RGB LED near to the reset switch. We also have 20 pin headers on both sides of this board that can be used to connect some other booster packs from the Texas instrument. We also have two USB connectors, one for using the board in device mode and the other one is for the programming and debugging. And we are also have a power select switch that is used to select between the device mode or the debug mode. There is a white line on this launchpad board. Below this line, we have user accessible switches and user accessible RGB LED, well labeled pins, crystal oscillator, and general purpose microcontroller. This is a 32 bit ARM Cortex microcontroller from Texas Instrument and its device name is TM4C123GH6PMI. Above this line, we have in circuit debug interface, 3.3 voltage regulator, and some other components. This stylus ICDI is used to debug and program the onboard microcontroller and the voltage regulator converts 5 volt supply by the USB connection to 3.3 volt for the processor and is also available at the board edge connectors. The Tiva C series launchpad comes pre programmed with the RGB quick start application. This application demonstrates how to control the onboard RGB LED, the hibernate functionality of the TM4C123G microcontroller, and serial communications with the Tiva C series launchpad. Let's connect the microcontroller board with the computer and let's use it in its device mode. So we have to move this power select switch to use it as a device mode. So this microcontroller board is powered up. The quick start program blinks the RGB LED with seven colors of rainbow. And if we press any switch S1 or S2, you can see it scans through those seven colors of the rainbow. And if we idle the board for some time, it will again start uh, flashing those colors in sequence. In order to enter the hibernation mode, we need to press both user switches for three seconds. And you can see when it enters in the hibernation mode, the user LED blinks every three seconds. We can exit this hibernation mode by pressing user switch S2. And now you can see it is cycling through all those seven colors of the rainbow. We can also control these functions using a universal asynchronous serial port. And for that, we need to have a QAware for this uh, Texas Instruments board. <laughs> 